Hey guys, welcome back to Amirad and it's Amit and sorry for uploading so much long but it's not gonna happen again but I'm going to upload as many as videos I can. So the video. I'm going to review this custom ROM ported from OnePlus 70 for our Redmi Note 5 Pro. So the very first one I want to talk about is the Dolby Sound Engine. The option to turn it on and off and also the option within are still available and also you can change it and customize according to it but it's not working. LOL. And apart from this Wi-Fi display is also not working here. I can't say anything about that because it's not also working on the other ported ROM from OnePlus devices. And the basic thing like fingerprint scanner and the OnePlus face unlock is perfectly working here. No problem with that. Let's talk about the performance because except from these bugs, everything is pretty much working here. The first thing I want to talk is the lift up display. Well, it is working smoothly, no issues with that. And as you know, OnePlus removed the always on display feature from their devices. So no question for that. It is not available here. Second is the gaming performance. Now it is far better than the other custom ROMs as it is Voxian OS, so no there is no doubt about that. And the default graphics are at balanced graphics with medium FPS so you can easily change it to HD with high FPS. Yes, you can still change it without any third party software to change the graphic settings. The game runs more smoothly. Now third is the camera. Now the default camera is working perfectly here. Taking photos and videos is easy without any issues. But I recommend you to use Gcam which is already installed in this ROM because the photos and video qualities from Gcam is far better than the default camera. And the Gcam version is 7.0 here with the latest feature because as this ROM runs on Android 10 version. And finally the few customization that is offered by the Voxion OS are pretty much working here without any issues. You can change the horizon light notification color the icon pack in which the McLaurin pack is already installed in this ROM and also the accent color. So those guys know about the Oxygen OS ROM, they are pretty much aware from this. And next of course the battery life. Well it's not something very amazing but it is far better than MIUI. I mean it gives me about 5-6 to six hours of screen on time and sometimes it reaches 7 hours and well it's all depend on you. I mean everyone uses their phone differently so can't say anything about that. But I will be making a video on MIUI 12, so subscribe for that. Now for the installation process. First thing first, you need unlock bootloader with TWRP installed and download file from the description link. After doing that, you need to remove the Google account from your current ROM. If they are one or two, just remove it. And then next, go to TWRP and then wipe system, Dalvik, cache data and internal if you want a clean installation and next vendor and cust and then go to the download file click on it flash to install it and reboot the system after installation and wait for boot it up and if it doesn't don't worry just do the force reboot by holding the power button until the device is on And wait for the first setup but during the first setup remember to do the one thing that is during the screen calibration settings click on advance and then move the slider to the cold side this screen calibration is necessary because it prevents you from the ghost touch screen issue and you are done you successfully installed the rom so that's all for this video thumbs if you like it and subscribe if you love it and to watch more videos like this so see you guys in the next one